7.44 now, and it's all about creating a healthy work environment and taking care of your employees. From creating a culture of wellness to bridging the gap between millennials and other generations. The American Heart Association is hosting its 7th annual Worksite Wellness Workshop next week. And joining us this morning for a preview is Jeff Shanka, President and CEO of First Insurance Company of Hawaii. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for stopping by. First off, why are you guys involved and why is it so important to you? Well, we've been involved with the Heart Association for a number of years. They're a very good organization to promote wellness throughout the community. But wellness in the workforce is great for, uh, on many, many accounts. It, it reduces the health care costs, reduces absenteeism, increases productivity, and in general creates a happier work environment. And what kind of benefits have you seen at your company by implementing these? Well, you know, all those things. We've also seen better engagement. So we're involved very much with the Heart Walk now every year, and that's been something that's become uh, a really team effort, and we have contests to raise the most money, and it's something that uh, we enjoy quite, quite a bit. What are some of the biggest challenges of trying to implement a program like this? I'd say it's engagement. I mean, it's getting people interested and involved. So I would say to most organizations, get someone, a senior officer, preferably the CEO involved mm -hmm. with this kind of a thing. Uh, the more they're involved, the more your employees will follow. Because leadership starts from the top. It certainly it does. trickles down. Yes, sir. Talk about that generation gap between millennials and other generations and trying to mesh. Yeah, we do find that the generations view wellness differently. So the older generations tend to focus on weight loss. Mm -hmm. The younger ones focus on work-life balance and reduction of stress. The other thing about the uh, younger generations, millennials in particular, they like group activities. So you need to tailor your wellness program to take all that into account. Any other closing statements you want to make, let people know? Uh, I would just say what you do to change your lifestyle should be sustainable. So whether it's your diet or exercise or both, do what you can keep doing. Don't follow a fad diet or some trendy exercise routine. Sustainable exercise and diet changes is what, is what matters. Some great advice there. Now, if you want to check it out, the 7th Annual Worksite Wellness Workshop is next Tuesday, September 24th at Aloha Tower Marketplace. It goes from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Best part about it? It's free for the first 150 people who register, and a healthy breakfast will also be provided. We'll have all that information on our website at kh12.com. Thank you so much for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, coming up.